This episode of Life Hacker is brought to you by the National Campaign Against Drunk Driving. Welcome to Life Hacker. Summer is almost at an end and Labor Day is just around the corner. Here's what we're going to do to take advantage of the remaining days of your summer. We're going to run down our favorite end of summer projects, see what we should be buying in September, keep your laptop cool during the remaining hot days, and more. All right, you guys ready? Yeah. yeah. Let's get started. Summer may be drawing to a close, but we've still got a few weeks left of heat out there. If you're looking for something fun to do in your last few weeks of summer, here are some of our favorite summer projects. It's still blazing hot outside, so the first thing on all of our minds is actually cooling off our homes. If you don't have the money or the means to have an air conditioner running all the time, there are a few DIY options you can put together for cooling down your house. We've featured some of them before, like making your own DIY air conditioner out of a fan and copper tubing. Or you can do something as simple as putting a fan in front of a bucket of ice water. They aren't necessarily as effective as a full-on air conditioner, but they'll cool down your home a significant amount. If you're looking for a fun photography project, you can actually build an underwater camera housing out of plexiglass and a 50 caliber ammo box. Uh, you can get some actually pretty cool underwater pictures with it, and it'll be something you can stare at longingly as you suffer through those winter months. So this project isn't really a project, but it's something that you'll run into a lot over the summer. Say you went out and just got some beverages, but they're not exactly cold. If you need to get them from warm to frosty in only two minutes, all you need is a bowl, some ice, some water, and some salt. Here's how it works. So you can fill up a bowl with ice and put them in, and that will take a little while for them to chill. Though if you put a little bit of water in, that'll get them cold even faster, probably about four to six minutes. But if you put a little bit of salt in the water, you can take that time down to about two minutes. Go ahead and put your cans in, and if you swirl them around a little bit, you can get them cold even faster. Drink up and enjoy. Ooh, cold. Those are just a few of our favorites, but we actually have a list of our top 10 favorite summer projects over at Lifehacker, so hit the link on your screen to see more. Prices fluctuate throughout the year, and that's certainly the case in September. One of the items that is a lot cheaper in September are appliances like washers and dryers, and that's because manufacturers are clearing out their summer items to make room for new items in the fall. Wine is seasonal, so you can usually get good prices on small batch wines early in the fall harvest. The end of summer means the end of grilling season, so now is also a good time to pick up a grill on the cheap. In addition to wine, grills, and appliances, there are a bunch of other things that are cheap in September. If you want to find out more, hit up the link on your screen. So it's the end of summer, a lot of you guys are probably camping, grilling burgers, toasting a marshmallow on a stick. We know it's more awesome than toasting a marshmallow on a stick. Four, Four marshmallows, marshmallows on a stick. stick. But if you're a normal person and you just are out in the woods, don't have the utensils to handle a big piece of meat, you can actually use a four-pronged toasting fork to get it done. All you need is a couple of sticks and a knife. Here's how to do it. So to start, you just take a stick, start cutting it down the middle. Oh, son of a to make this four-pronged stick holder, you grab one stick, you cut safely, as in probably away from you, first down the middle, and then you turn it 90 degrees and cut it again to make four prongs. Then you grab the smaller stick, cut it just so that it fits in between those four, grab an even smaller stick, put it above that, and you've got a little prop to hold one big stick. So there you have it perfect stick to hold large meats, at least four marshmallows, or any kind of fish or you know, vegetables you want to grill without actually having a grill. Plus, safety first, always remember, don't cut yourself. We all know that heat's bad for the computer, but there are a couple tips you should keep in mind to keep you and your laptop safe. Here's what they are. First, when you're outside, you want to make sure you don't take your laptop out in temperatures of 95 degrees Fahrenheit or higher because 
that's going to cause your battery life to go down and possibly for your hard drive to expand, which can cause a whole host of problems. You'll also want to avoid the outdoors if the humidity is above 80% because that can cause condensation inside your laptop and you definitely don't want moisture in there. The best thing you can do is try to increase airflow, but you'll also want to disconnect your battery and just connect your laptop to power. That way you can save your battery from getting too stressed out during the day. One other thing you'll want to keep in mind is if you're a guy, you don't want to keep the laptop too close to your groin. And that's because it can cause possible infertility issues. One way to do that is sit in the lotus position. So just move your legs up like that, set your laptop here, and type away. If you'd like more information on how to maintain your laptop in a hot climate, just check out the link on your screen. And also stay tuned for the downloads of the day later when we'll be discussing software that can measure the heat limits of your specific laptop. Hungry? Thirsty? The refreshment stand is open. I'm sure you guys are as excited as we are about the Labor Day festivities, but remember, if you do plan on drinking, do not get behind a wheel. Not only do you put yourself and others at risk, but you also just look like a huge jerk and can get yourself thousands of dollars in legal fees. From August 19th to September 5th, the police are going to be out in force in a nationwide effort to crack down on impaired driving. Don't put yourself or others at risk. Drive sober or get pulled over. On average, 31% of people involved in fatal crashes on the weekend are alcohol impaired. That's crazy. This weekend, record numbers of law enforcement will be out cracking down on drunk driving day and night. So do yourself a favor, drive sober or get pulled over. And now, it's showtime. All right, it's time for the downloads of the day. Let's see what we've got. First we've got Weber's On The Grill, which is not only a great iPad-based grilling guide with plenty of video tips and how-tos, but also an excellent digital recipe book. For those of you who've jailbroken your iPhones, you'll want to check out Desk SMS. It forwards SMS text messages to your email, instant messaging client, or Google Chat. If this app sounds familiar to Android users, it's because you've had it for a few weeks longer and you don't even need to root your device to use it. Android users who keep getting unwanted calls from specific or unknown numbers should check out Call Filter. It'll let you block any kind of incoming call you don't want. iPhone users who want to print virtually anything on their devices to a PDF file now can with Print to PDF. It's an app that acts as an air print server, but it really just creates a PDF file that can be saved or emailed. Lastly, if you use Firefox and are frustrated with annoying ads in the videos you watch, excluding the ads in our show, of course, Adblock Video will let you play them commercial free. And that's it for this week. In next week's episode, we're going to get back to work, but for now, enjoy your Labor Day. Like, be careful, guys. You're playing with knives. Come on. Like, I'm about to cut myself, so I'm just not even going to do that.